As the final countdown to matric exams begins, the thrill of exploring future career prospects is palpable. Amidst the excitement and anxiety, a shining opportunity awaits in the rapidly expanding tech industry. Data science, held as the new oil, has emerged as a pivotal field, revolutionizing business decisions worldwide. As industries worldwide turn to data to make informed business decisions, the demand for skilled data scientists is soaring. This demand presents a unique opportunity for individuals to capitalize on this booming career path. Now, uh, to, uh, to discuss this further, Asif Hassam, Chief Technology Officer at Zayo, uh, is, is joining us via Zoom to give us an insight on unlocking the power of data science as a career. Asif, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Hi, how's it going? Very well. Good to have you on the show this morning, Asif. Yeah, so, yeah I'm excited about this. Indeed. How are you doing? Good, man. Now, data is increasingly driving business decisions worldwide. So what skills are required to interpret and leverage this data? Right. So like, look, think about, think about it, data, like a form of data science has been happening since a very long time, right? It yeah. just became very famous with the boom of like, you know, AI happening, right? So if you think about it, just making Excel sheets and making graphs and pie charts and Excel sheets, that kind of stuff is already something data science does. But now with data science, it's where you're working with large data sets, mm. right? And uh, that like a lot of data which can't be processed by your normal Excel sheets. And that's where you need to learn the extra skills like programming skills and uh, and mainly programming, right? And just using that programming skill to manipulate and understand that data. Mm -hmm. And with data science and tra transforming industries, what role do you see it playing in South Africa's economic growth? I feel like it does play a lot, like uh, it, it plays a huge role, right? Yeah. And that's because, like, I feel data helps you understand what, you know, what you don't know and, mm. you know, helps you pick up things that you don't know about, right? right, right. And trends that your business has to focus on that uh, you need to pick up to make sure that your business grows further. And I think if a lot of companies dive into making data driven decisions, I just feel like the economy is going to just move very much more faster and uh -huh. different pace. And having said that, South Africa's industries such as the finance and the healthcare sectors rely heavily on data-driven insights. So how can data scientists meet this demand? So look, um, one of the things about here in South Africa is that the, a lot of universities don't offer this, uh, you know, this, this kind of curriculum, right? True. You have to go out True. on your way to figure it out because it's still new and it takes a long time to figure out what to teach and what not to teach because it's, it's, it's very vast and you cannot learn everything. You know, everything comes with experience. To meet that demand, I would definitely say take the first thing is at least see if you're, if you're a matric grad, you know, try, if you're going to university, uh, try, try and go towards stats and maths degree. Right, because a lot of stats and maths require data science, or take like online courses like what we have at Zio, our boot coding boot camps what we run at Zio. So these kind of things are what's going to like you know help you meet that demand. Obviously, if you're trying to get into the industry much more quicker, coding boot camps are the way to go. Mm. And as if what challenges arise from the okay. shortage of I skilled found this professionals? I this on the web for if you're Oh, sorry, I just, I just broke there for a bit. Are you able to repeat what you said? Yeah, sure. What challenges arise from the shortage of skilled professionals? Okay, challenges, like it's, I mean, like, like I said, right, like one, one of them is uh, just you have going to outsource a lot of, uh, you know, data scientists from outside. You don't have anything mm -hmm. here, which means you're going to pay a lot more money, right? Because I feel like companies are trying to like pick up the fact that a lot of uh, like data is a new gold, right? Yeah. And they need to use data to to meet the like you know to actually beat the competitors, mm -hmm. right? Because they don't understand what the users want, what the customers want, and you not having those skills like in in your company or locally in South Africa, what happens is now you need to go out and you know find data data scientists that are outside of South Africa, and they charge very much more, yeah. right? So I just feel like it's this gets really expensive. The whole process just really gets really expensive, which makes it difficult for you to keep up with your competitors. Now, on a global scale, how does the global demand for data scientists impact the local job market? So the thing is that if 
Uh, okay, look, companies outside, right? International companies are definitely going to pay much, way much more, like higher mm-hmm. salaries to data scientists, right? Because the demand is not only in South Africa, but it's it's crazy everywhere. Like the demand, the supply is very little, mm-hmm. and uh, like I know tech companies also provide like you know remote jobs, and yes. uh, like the more the moment that happens, right? A lot of uh, local talent then starts going outside, and again with the same problem where. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we're not able to utilize data scientists properly because now it gets expensive again. Mm. You can't beat the international companies' rates. It's 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 just like it's just how it is. Now, earlier on, you spoke about the fact that um, data science um, isn't introduced at universities because it's still a relatively new course. So. Let's talk about Zayo's data science courses that aim to bridge, you know, uh, the, the skills gap. What sets these courses apart? Okay, so with, with, with Zayo's courses, right, like for we've, so what, we've, what we've been teaching is full stack web development. And uh, it took us a long time to figure out what data science curriculum we need to like create for so for individuals looking to enter into the data science industry right and what we do is we go out to companies we speak to companies and see what kind of uh data what is the role of a data science what role will data science data scientists play yeah. in the company right and based on that is when we come up with our curriculum right it's like very hands-on uh, a lot of support is given to you because it's a fairly new topic and it'll be difficult for you to grasp from the beginning so we provide a lot of support and uh, yeah we're trying to complete that within seven months not like a three to four year university degree and what we teach you is mainly what you need to to like go and get the job right it's proper wow. practical experience right yeah. now by providing practical training zayo i understand empowers aspiring data scientists so what success stories can you share so, I mean, like we've had quite a few students, right? Mm-hmm. So we done data science mainly for, you know, training for B2B companies. We yeah. just launched our B2B one just like uh, in uh, two months ago. And we're taking our first intake. Actually, our last, uh, the application date, uh, end date is the 21st of October, right? Okay. And um, uh, that's, that's the, that's the, that's the end of uh, when you can make your applications. And, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, I just lost my thought of chain of thought. There. What was your question again? No, it's okay. Uh, because I want us to move on to the fact that you know, with the increasing importance of data-driven insights, uh, how can organisations ensure data quality and integrity? Hello, Asif. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Please do confirm if you can hear me. I'm not sure if you're losing the line. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, okay. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, sure. Now, with the increasing importance of, you know, data-driven insights, so how do organizations ensure data quality and integrity? Okay, I mean, like, look, um, just getting the right consultants, right, and just getting, like, the right uh, the right people in the room, yeah. right, who know these things, and who've been upskilled in these things. If you get the, those guys in the room, I think it does actually... So the problem because they know how to do the, do these things the right way. Mm. Yeah. All right, Asif, great chatting to you, man. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. We just uh, spoke to Asif Hassam, the CTO at Zayo, who explores data science as an exciting and lucrative career choice and uh, what the field entails, uh, the skills required, and, of course, why it's becoming one of the most sought-after professions in the digital age.